last meal you cooked yourself? I mean, does making a protein shake count? This guy over here with I this. made a protein shake. I write and I work in the news and I'm determined and I do protein shakes. It's a new, I'm trying to lose weight. Is this it? interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> First job, I worked at a newsstand in Hyde Park in Chicago that was a half block from my house, making $2 an hour under the counter. I was a newspaper delivery boy in southeastern Connecticut. I think I was like 12 or 13 years old. My first job was probably age 14, painting uh, murals at a fun house at Palisades Amusement Park. And I got fired for not showing up to work because I was making $2 an hour under the counter. I was 22 for my first job. <laughs> Something with a nap. Yes. Something with a late afternoon nap. Oh, that's so sweet. It's good. I hate free time. I'm a big like sleeping until you wake up, getting out of bed for like an hour and then say, I need to get back in bed. I mean like a relaxing sitting around the house, free day off, no way. Playing golf and playing tennis, both in the same day. I love nothing. My wife hates it. I love nothing. Um, as close to total inactivity as possible for me. Both you and Kamau talked uh, like the best part of your day is like sleeping. Oh. It's like napping is a totally underrated activity. I think that would have been Kraft macaroni and cheese uh, many years ago. Uh, last night I microwaved something that I found in the freezer. I microwaved it all by myself. I made uh, spaghetti pomodoro and uh, polpetti uh, in Rome recently. So we're both in the pasta family there. Totally, and I, I have to say, you want to be, you, you don't want to know their real, you know, real fear, it's, you know, cooking pasta for an Italian. Yeah. I can make some kick-ass two ingredient pancakes, which I did yesterday morning for, yes. my, for my kids. Just a banana and two eggs. For me, cooking brunch will always be the, 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 the smell of, of shame and defeat. I worked in public relations for a while out of college, and uh, I was really bad at it. I worked at a place uh, called Michael Jordan's Restaurant in Chicago that was Michael Jordan's in name only. You know, when I was unemployable uh, in any respectable cooking job, I could always get brunches because, you know, there aren't a lot of people who can, you know, knock out 300 eggs Benedict, uh, and not many people want to. I slept under my desk during the day. This is before George Costanza did it on Seinfeld. So you don't like French toast or eggs benedict? Uh, it's, it's, plus it's sticky. No, no, I have a really a pathological aversion to, 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 to brunch that, uh, that I've had a hard time working through. Did you ever get to meet Michael Jordan? <laughs> the day that I went home early was the day Michael Jordan came by and oh, gave everybody man. a pep talk. <laughs>